hello friends in previous lecture we already discuss two different application of industrial robot first application is application of industrial robot for welding purpose means use of manipulator for arc welding and for spot welding then another application of industrial robot for the spray painting means you can perform the spray painting operation by using industrial robot so in case of spray painting robot spray painting gun act as a end effector which is directly connected to wrist joint and in case of welding robot welding gun is directly connected to wrist joint means welding gun act as a end effector so in that next lecture or this lecture we are going to discuss the next application of industrial robot is material transfer or material transfer application of robot so robots are commonly used or pick and place application of robot so animation this animation shows pick and place application of industrial robot means pick the object from one location and place to another location so this is the simply construction detail of pick and place robot means in similar way pick and place robot consists of four mechanical links or four links link number first link number second link number third and link number fourth means link number first is nothing but base link number second is nothing but upper arm link number third third is the forearm and fourth is the end effector in case of pick and place robot mechanical type gripper or mechanical type end effector act as a hand of the robot or you can easily pick the object from one location and place to another location okay and three joint joint number first is the shoulder joint elbow joint and wrist joint so joint number first gives rotary motion about horizontal axis joint number second gives rotary motion about again horizontal axis and joint number third gives translatory motion about its axis or horizontal axis so robots are commonly used for shifting purpose or shifting an object from one location to another location an application for such type of robots pick the object from one location and place to another location so there are different components or main components of pick and place robot so first basic component or main component arm or manipulator so manipulator is nothing but combination of four mechanical links and three joints okay so this is the one simple example of manipulator and you can directly connect mechanical type end effector to manipulator for pick and place operation so first component main component or basic component is the manipulator then second end effector end effector is nothing but hand of robot which is directly connected to last joint then drive mechanism okay different types of motors electric drive or different types of motors act as a drive the basic function of drive to actuate all joints of the robot then controller overall control of manipulator as well as overall control of arm and then base so base act as a foundation then custom features or sensors and transducer the basic function of sensor to sense all parameter and get converted into voltage signal or current signal so these are the different main components of peak and place robot and this is the simply arrangement or process of peak and place robot so robots are commonly used for shifting an object from one location to another location application for this purpose are first is the transfer of part from one conveyor to another conveyor okay means transfer the work material from one conveyor to another conveyor 
then palletizing and depalletizing then third transfer of blanks or blank work piece from incoming conveyor to machine tool for further processing so these are the three purpose or purposes for uh, pick and place robot generally used a material handling operation in which the primary objective is to move the part from one location to another location without any complex operation the application usually requires a relative simple robot with few degrees of freedom and a simple controller this operation are commonly called as pick and place operation means material transfer of op application or operation is known as pick and place operation means you can easily pick the object from one location and place to another location so basically the material transfer application of robot there are many application in which the robot is required to move the part from one location to another location the material handling application of robot is divided into main two types first is the material transfer application and another one is the machine loading and unloading operation so in that material transfer application material transfer applications are defined as operation in which the primary objective is to move the part from one location to another location the examples for such type of material transfer are pick and place operation and palletizing and depalletizing operation so in that pick and place operation pick and place operation involve task in which the robot pick pick up the part at one location and place in another location the part is present to the robot by some mechanical feeding device or conveyor known as or known locations and orientation the known locations or known location is stationary location achieved either the either by stopping the conveyor at the appropriate position or by using mechanical stops to hold the part at a stationary location the robot will grasp the part pick up and move its position if at desired location the orientation of the part remain unchanged the major complications in material transfer application are when the robot has picked the part from moving conveyor or when the same robot has carried different parts when the robot has placed the moving conveyor so you can easily apply different application pick and place application so you can easily pick the object from one location and place to another location so pick and place operation is the first basic application of industrial robot so another application is the palletizing operation the use of pallets pallet is nothing but wooden box so palletizing and depalletizing both are the important activities used in manufacturing sector see the use of pallets for material handling and storage in industry is widespread a large number of pallets are placed or from stock on common platform the pallets can be moved mechanically within the plant or warehouse by fork or by forklift or trucks or conveyor or with the help of agvs agvs are nothing but automated guided vehicles okay so agvs are the battery operated vehicles there is no any human driver required for transferring the material from one location to another location so robots can be programmed to do palletizing work in the industry a computer controlled robot with high level language is convenient to perform the palletizing work this feature facilities the mathematical computation of the different pallets location required during the loading of pallets depalletizing is the reverse operation in which the robot removes the pallets or cartons from the pallets and place them into conveyor or other location so these are the two important 
applications of pick and place robot palletizing and depalletizing palletizing means fill the pallet with finished object and depalletizing means remove the object from the pallets so these are the different advantages and disadvantages of pick and place robot so first advantage consistency of performance 24 by 7 continuous working okay means 40 free operation or continuous working reduced amount of operator errors okay means pick and place robot reduces operator errors or human errors it can move from one location to another location then robotic worker never get tired okay means fatigue free operation do not need to be paid okay can be made to perform even the most dangerous task within concord okay then different disadvantages high standards of maintain required okay means maintenance cost is high as compared to other devices or different uh, conveyors so precise programming needed time training special or specialist specialist knowledge worker means skill labors are required this is the another disadvantages precise programming needed or skill labors are required then next when computer system failure will cause breakdown okay then next new product required complete programming or reprogramming then certain processes still need a skilled operator and last is the complex and expensive equipment to buy and install so these are the different advantages and disadvantages of pick and place robot or this animation shows exactly pick and place of operation pick the object from one location and place to another location and this is the construction detail of pick and place robot okay and main components of pick and place robot like manipulator and defector drive mechanism controller base okay and sensor and transducers and this is the exactly application or exactly working principle of pick and place robot